Okay, so we're here at uh, SKC round four with Glenn Chum from GP Racing. Glenn, this is your second time on the track. You had a really, really exciting race with John Lee last time round here. How does it feel to be back on the F1 tarmac? I feel very good because um, this, this, uh, this race where I got my podium finish and this time round, I'm coming back with a podium finish too. Amin, you're here in the fourth round. This is your second visit to the Marina Bay circuit. How does it feel to be back? I feel very happy because um, I love this track and I'm glad to be racing it again, especially there's a new circuit layout and uh, some new competitors, I think. So we're here with Jonathan Williams in the SKC round four. Yeah, so like, you're pretty new to this and you've been uh, improving uh, really well with uh, Veritas Racing. Uh, how has it been to be with the Zanardi and to be with uh, Sean Yip and the team? The, the Zanardi cart's great. They've been giving me lots of tips and been teaching me and helping me on race tuition and it's been really great so far. So we're here with Lucas Meister ordering racing. So uh, it's a good atmosphere down in the Marina Bay. How do you feel about being inside the pit lane that the Formula One cars are at and being on the track that the Formula One cars drive on? It gives me a, an idea of what it's like maybe for the um, for Formula One drivers, what they must be feeling um, at, when they're about to race. Manon Maestra, one of two females here this weekend racing in the SKC. So this is a very different type of circuit to uh, Cartwright Speedway. Do you think it's going to change the order a little bit in the junior category? Maybe a different winner this weekend? Um, I'm not too sure right now. I mean, is a pretty good driver, has experience over quite a few places and there are a couple drivers from drivers uh, that we haven't seen before. So yeah, I think the order might change. Pavan, best presented award in round three, feeling really hyped. What's the strategy for this weekend? Well, I'm um, just going to try my best, uh, hopefully top five, um, but it would be amazing if I can get podium. So we're here with Sin Sin, Con Patanataku. He's coming to the series this year, uh, taking a podium. How do you feel to be back at the Marina Bay Circuit? Really good. I love this track. So right now we got uh, pictures on that starting grid and uh, great to see uh, Glenn Shyam and Pavan Ravishankar on that, uh, on, on that starting grid on the front row. We see Amin Nozilan. So now Glenn Shyam coming past us, slowing the pack right down so everyone can get into formation. All the drivers trying to stay alongside one another. Glenn controlling the pace as they accelerate up towards the green flag and the green is out and we are racing. Oh, and I'm in New Zealand now. I'm in New Zealand has lost a place to Ethan Goodman into turn two. So, oh, it looks as if Jonathan Williams there is trying to take fifth place from Rory Elliott. These guys are fighting hard, but Glenn Chum right now with a little bit of breathing space. Ethan Goodman now into second place in car 616. His compatriot, GP Racing teammate, is third, Pavan Ravashankar, but makes a little bit of a mistake. Coming out to the straight, Armin Nozilan is right behind him there. Is it a time for a move? He's having a look. The move is made, but it's going to be interesting to see. Pavan Ravashankar has got the pace, and no, Pavan is down one spot, and Armin is up into second place. So right now, Glenn Shamin, Armin Nozilan, we are watching now in that last lap. The gap was one second flat. It's six tenths now. Fastest lap of the race of 43.19 from Auto Inc. Racing's Armin Nozilan. Armin is still the quickest man on the circuit, putting in a 42.98 in his last lap. He's now just been in a 43.0, but he is... Oh, and Armin Nozilan, Armin Nozilan's gone for the lead. They've made a little bit of contact going down the straight. They're bumper to bumper right now. And Armin takes the lead, Glenn into second place. Fantastic move there from New Zealand. Ryan Chung is still stuck behind us. I'm in New Zealand, crosses a check and flag and takes home 
the pre-final race one step closer to the SKC 2012 title. How's the race, Lori? Uh, good, I had a good start and I made some great overtakes and I just built up the gap to my assistant who was behind me and tried to close in on Glenn. Well, it was a good race for me and uh, I learned a lot. I gained a lot of experience from this and for this pre-final, I lost to Amin. Uh, he, uh, he I understand that Glenn Chiam from Independent Racing is quite fierce a competitor. What do you think of him? Well, I've been racing with him uh, in Cadet since uh, we were very young and he's actually a very quick driver and he gave some competition which I really like. It's so close in this championship, this junior class, particularly with this hairpin into turn one, all the carts barreling down, all ten carts looking for the same pieces of tarmac. It could absolutely be anyone's race into turn one as we see Armin lead these carts round on their roll-up lap to start this race. As Armin leads them round onto the final corner and the start finish straight. The green flag is out. It looks like we will be go this time round as they charge up to take that green flag and Armin is staying out to the left. We can see there is a spinner. I can't see who that is. I don't know oh. if you can, Yui. Oh, and Glenn, Glenn Chum. Glenn Chum has taken the lead in the race. Glenn Chum has taken the lead in the race and the spinner looks like it was a GP racing cart. We're not quite sure who it is. Oh, but Glenn Chum connects to the tech pro. Has he lost a little bit of pace? I mean, New Zealand is still behind him. While these two are battling in the front between Glenn and Armin, we've got Rory Elliott starting to catch up on them. So right now, Armin Dozilan is going to try and make a move into T1 on Glenn Chum. They're moving slightly over. It's going to be interesting to see if he can hold on to it. They're both out of the throw around of T1, and it looks like Armin has made a successful move as he makes his stick. Oh no! Ryan Chung has stopped Armin Dozilan! Ryan Chung has shut down Armin Dozilan, and Glenn Chum takes the lead in the junior category! Rory Area looks like he's trying to get past him as well. Amin Nozilan right now has just lost the lead to Rory Elliott. Rory Elliott is now in the lead of this junior category. Amin giving Rory a little bit of a bump as they come through turn nine. Rory has to make his car very wide. I don't think it's wide enough at the moment. And it looks like Amin is easily able to step out the inside as is Glenn Sharp. As they go to turn one, Rory goes from third to first to third in a lap and a half. So Rory, that's really a shame, but a good effort from him. Yeah, Glenn Chum, as he just went past the commentary box, actually just scrubbed one of the tech pros again. So uh, Glenn is pushing as hard as he can, trying to use every inch. And I mean, Zealand takes the final win there. Fantastic, though, the check and flag is out. Glenn Chum manages to hold on for second place with all the pressure from Rory Elliott in third. Well, it was a close race between you, Rory, and Glenn Chiam. What do you got to say about them? Yeah, it's a very close race and uh, obviously a very fair race. But uh, there are some back markers that uh, didn't let us go and we got caught up in some. And we got close back together. But it was a very fun race, racing with those two guys. Yeah.